FreeMMOStation.com. What's going on, Station? I'm Skyland Shore, and today we're playing Cards and Castles. It's going to be a new tactical card game. Actually, we just did a video on Duelist. I really like Duelist, and Cards and Castle is, uh, and also is very reminiscent of like flash animation. Um, it seems a little bit simpler. It seems to really have an art style and a mechanic sort of uh, fit toward mobile devices. This can actually be played on mobile for free already. You can go play it right now for free. It's also on Steam right now today. I'm going to run through the tutorial. I haven't learned all the mechanics, but so far what I could say is that it seems really interesting. I like the aesthetic, I guess. I think I'm pretty sure I like it. It really reminds me of Castle Crashers. It's very humorous. Uh, it's very simplistic, but it's really colorful. Maybe it's a little bit much on PC, but on mobile devices, I could totally see this art style just working perfectly. You like the big bubbliness, everything's really clear and easy to read. So yeah, but uh, I'm playing it on desktop right now, just so you can see. However, you can play it right now if you go download it on your mobile devices. So here we go. We're doing our uh, tutorial here. It looks like there's some gold currency. Uh, this might work similarly to Hearthstone, how mana is. So I can summon a pleasant militia. As you can see, we have these objectives here. These can't move, unlike Duelist, where you can move around your general. Uh, so we can only summon behind these uh, objectives. So I summoned him. I'm going to move him to the front here, and that looks like that's all I can do. So I'm going to end my turn. It looks like you get a gold every single turn. He's going to summon the Archer. Now, this is the second in a series of tutorial quests that I got to do, just so you guys know. I have no idea what all the mechanics are, but we're going to learn together. You get two. You get two gold. Wait, why do I? Why do I? Oh, I have two gold because I get one each turn. So yeah, it's just like Hearthstone's mana system. Awesome. Gold refills each turn, so you can spend this. Let's get the lumberjack and bear. That's a beautiful picture, my friends. Let's go summon this guy right here for some reason. Okay, let's move him up here. Let's move this guy. Uh, you know, like let's move him like diagonally, and let's just end the turn. Try to get my lumberjack to kill this guy. Merchant's estate. Gain one gold. Oh, okay, so you can actually spawn buildings, which is pretty interesting. All right, on my third turn, I get three gold, so I can summon the scout. Oh boy, summon him here. Let's move him here. You can only attack uh, like this way, <laughs> vertically and horizontally, or up, down, left, right. Let's attack this guy, kill him. Easy does it. Can we actually kill this thing in one turn? No. Okay, we only see the health after we attack, or I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, summon, move this guy up here, and we are good. Let's end the turn. Let's go. Let's do this. Skeleton, inflict enemies with plus one. D what? No, he killed me. Okay, he killed that guy. That sucks. Freaking tragic. Gold, we can summon a guardian. Let's summon the guardian. Get this dude in here. Put him up here. Attack this guy. Attack this guy. I maybe should have killed that thing, but uh, we'll see if that bites me in the ass later, huh? Okay, thief. Gain one gold when this unit attacks. Shit. Okay, wow, he's got a lot of gold. Gold's pretty good. Give your units plus one attack and one health. I'm going to go ahead and attack this thing. Hope that wasn't a bad idea. And kill that guy. All right, we're good to go. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, the outs, give it to uh, this guy. I don't think it really matters, but uh, all right, we're going to end the turn. Oh, yeah, I gave it to all my units. Headless Horseman, he's got charge, which is a rush ability, as we can just see. A guardian, summon another guardian. Because forget the swordsman, right? All right, now let's move over here. Do some damage to his uh, objective here. I don't know if we get to customize the objective. I like how this is like an airship and I have a castle. It'd be pretty cool to find out what other things we can get. Acha! Yeah, can't you see this art style? It's totally just like Behemoth, man. It's just like Castle Crashers, Alien Hominid. It looks pretty good. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, maybe we should go around and kill that guy? I don't know, let's see. Uh, Peasant, no, nah, let's, let's summon this guy and let's summon this guy. There we go. Oh man, this guy looks awesome. Move these guys up here. Oh wait, no, I think we win here. Yeah, we totally win. GG victory and now we're gonna go fire and also fire okay what's this mean we got some cards new cards are always fun okay beware our explosive burn nation like ammunition but uh, burn nation what's this right click to find out right click we got a pyromancer explosive three damages all enemies near the target so AOA damage understood so how do I do this I should probably summon I should summon the peasant militia we should probably summon him down here. Yeah, and we'll move him up. Try to, try to kill this guy, because this guy seems pretty dangerous. Sacrifice a unit, deal four damage to enemy castle. Jesus Christ, okay, well. Then, Lumberjack and Bear, summon the Lumberjacky. I probably shouldn't have spawned him there. And the turn. Now, yeah, so this game reminds me a lot of Scrolls. It actually kind of seems like a mix between Scrolls and Duelist. I think it's tasteful, though. 
Let's move this guy. Oh, man. Let's move him here. And let's do battle gear. Give a unit plus two. Let's go ahead and give it to this guy because he's our strongest dude. He's our strongest dude, bruh. And let's just start doing damage. End the turn. It's actually pretty cool, but you can ha you can activate touch controls even on the PC version. So if you have a touch screen uh, PC, you can actually utilize it with this game. I'm just saying, that's pretty cool. Soulless Lantern. Aw, nah, man. He's so cute. That's adorable. We got four, so we're actually going to summon this guy. Let's move him here. He's got Pierce. Pierce means that he can... Uh, any units behind... Well, I mean, hold on. Maybe I can click on it and it'll say... Nah, it doesn't say. Whatever. Uh, last, last match you saw, I hit somebody behind my initial target, so that's pretty good. Uh, maybe we could actually just focus on the objective here. We could probably just do that. Kind of force him to attack my units and it'll just kill him. So we can kill this unit. That's going to be smart. Oh, the Pyromancer is probably a good idea here. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, baby. Let's go ahead and summon the uh, Soulless Lantern. Put him here. And let's go summon the Shield Knight here. As you can see, there is health and their offense left and right. Very usual. Actually, we might just win next turn regardless. Can I? Oh, yeah. No, we win this turn. Went to the face. There we go. There's that piercing damage. GG. Tutorial. No re. Okay. The quickening. The quickening. What's quickening? Give a unit plus three. Burst Cool. 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 Got new cards, man. Got new cards. Prepare for a lesson in pain. I do like these different buildings. Hopefully, we can customize these. This card will strengthen a unit for our one turn only. Understood. Okay, so you're telling me to do this so I can move up here and kill this guy? Let's destroy this ninja. Bow, you're dead. You're dead, son. You're dead and you're done. And turn. So hopefully you guys are having fun watching the video. I'm, I'm coming to having fun playing the game. Seems, I mean, it's just a tutorial, so I don't know. Anyways, two, give your units plus one, plus one. Uh, no, plus one's not good enough. Yeah, plus, plus one is not good enough. I can attack, though. Yeah, I can attack at range. Do some damage to her. I can't move after attacking, so keep that in mind. I'll summon the Lumberjack. Uh, I'm gonna put the Lumberjack... I'm gonna put the Lumberjack back here. I'm gonna end this turn. Give unit plus one movement. What? Who cares about movement? Oh, that's weird. So it looks like whenever a unit gets near another one, it automatically attacks or something like that? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna give uh, this guy plus one, and we're just... We're gonna move this guy uh, up here, and we're gonna start attacking right here. There we go, there we go. All right, we're done here. We are done here. Sensei, support gives an ally. What? Oh, okay. Oh, damn, dude. Sensei, legit. Let's summon a guardian. All right, guardian, get out here. Oh, man, we should, we should actually move. We should move back. We should move back this far and then kill this guy. Yeah, there we go. I didn't want any uh, chance of retaliation. I don't know if that's how that works or not, but uh, yeah. Okay. Who's this guy? Whoa, he's all invisible. Dark spirit. Stealth. Cannot be targeted by enemy range attacks. Son of a bitch. Okay. So he's like super strong. We're going to use this guy to attack him though. So let's do that. And then I still can't attack him. That sucks. But I think we can attack here now. No, it's still out of range. Oh, man, that's not good. I, d I made a no-no. Let's summon the wizard. And we're good to go in turn. If he attacks either of these units, he's going to die. Support given ally plus one movement. Who cares? Oh, man, dude, this deck is all about movement. Holy shit, that's intense. Oh, sensei, nah. You kill my wizard? Son of a bitch. Okay, whatever. Let's summon the swordsman. He's got cleave. Cleave is sexy. All right. Okay. I like my ranged unit. I really do. Let's save him. There we go. Do some damage there. We're end the turn. End the turn. Peasant militia. That's all you got. Okay. He's got a wizard. Okay. So he's got more than just that. Oh no. Okay. So that's some damage. Oh well. My my dude is ready. He's ready to cleave. So we're gonna jump up here. Uh, we are gonna we're gonna give him this, and we're gonna do some damage, man. Oh, baby, killer combo achievement unlocked. Steam achievements, man. I love Steam achievements. They're so cool, man. All right, summon these guys. I do like that they can move as soon as they spawn. That's pretty nice. All right. All right. So is it me or are these decks themed? I mean, that'd be pretty cool. It seems to be the trend to have themed decks. All right, so it looks like we can actually just win here. So let's just do that, dude. No bullshit. Let's go. 
GG. Okay, so I think we got one more piece to the tutorial. We're gonna learn this. Dawn of the Crusade. And then we're probably, we're gonna try to play one online game or at least a full game with both bots or something. Support? Okay, so we got, we got the Shaman first. So, uh, support. You know, match for our hero. Who's your hero? Whoa, these, uh, these numbers got pretty high here. Your unit is damaged. She needs healing. Okay, so I should probably heal him. Select your shaman. There's my shaman. Okay, so the shaman can heal allies. You just click any clack. I do like that everything's animated. Like, not everything is just standing still. Like, everything is animated. It looks nice. Okay, so now what? Okay, we just play normally. So, summon this dude. Move on over. Move on over. Oh, I, I didn't need- Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. I didn't even click all the way. You know, that might get annoying, especially if you have a smaller phone and you have fat thumbs. You might accidentally click the wrong tile. And uh, then it's, you can't, you can't go back on that. Just wait, she's almost here. So they're probably going to summon some big ass dude. It's going to suck. It's really going to suck. Anyways, we're going to kill this guy. Forget that dude. Can I heal from here? I cannot actually reach that. It's tragic. I can't summon anything either. Oh, there's an undo button, guys. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't know there was an undo button. Hold on. Oh, I can't, I can't undo more than one at a time. Well, shit. Anyways. Anyways, continue on, continue on. Acha. Hey, I'm dead, yep. Yeah, that was pretty predictable. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna save my battle gear, I think. Let's summon another scout. I'll move him up here, and let's move this dude up here. And let's let's get this guy to start doing some damage. End the turn here. Okay, it's eight coins. Uh we got Jonive, Janive, Janive? Probably Janive. I don't know. Can we actually see? Jesus, dude, that's so much damage. Fuck that shit. Okay, language people. This is a this is a family show. Okay, we got uh, three damage. Should do we should we attack her? Like I don't really know like exactly what I should do here. I don't know the proper etiquette. Okay, I got four. I got four. I'm gonna summon another scout. And I got one. No, I think I think we're just gonna attack again. Attack again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She heals. Uh, and my allies take two less damage from all sources and, and gain regeneration. Dude, she's awesome! She's so good, are you kidding me? That's so good. That's cheating, man. <laughs> Alright, let's summon, uh, let's move this guy here, let's... Maybe we can just go to the face, maybe that will just work. Like, maybe so. Probably not, but maybe? All right, uh, let's go. So we can't summon that guy. Actually, we can do no, 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 no. Let's actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's give him that, and let's do this. No, I can do it. Okay, no, I can't. All right, let's summon this guy. Let's move him up here and see what happens. End the turn. Well, since, I mean, she's strong and everything, but if she's gonna go to my face, like, I'm already at her base, and I should be able to do the things, so I'm not, I'm not really worried. I think we got this, guys. I'm not worried at all. In fact, there's no way she can win, unless this, like, she's got some card that multiplies her- Yeah, that's right, you gotta go backwards. Holy shit, though, she wrecked me. Ah, uh, but we still win. See, guys? I'm like a strategian, man. Uh, or oh, I mean, tactician. Actually, I don't know the proper word. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did it, guys. Welcome to the game. Okay, we did that. We beat the game. We were done. Jeez, it. Okay. No, seriously, we're not done yet. First impression I must continue. All the. Oh my God! All the shinies. Okay, we got packs. This is a collecting card game after all. We gotta open some packs. Hitting quest. A steamy encounter. Here's a free pack for installing the game on Steam. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. I'm gonna install this as well on my tablet because it is cross-platform. So I'm gonna do that. Probably. I'm actually having fun with it. Okay, multiplayer. I gotta win a multiplayer match. I gotta win it. Well, I gotta play. I'm gonna play one. Uh, practice. Win. Practice. Fuck practice matches. No. Okay, so we get daily quests. Uh, Duelist also does that. The Warlock Academy. So we can practice. Um, I'm gonna go to my cards. I'm gonna open up my cards. Check out check out our decks and see what we got. Okay, so I click cards. We got some cards. Here's the art. Yeah, dude. Like, really, really awesome artwork. Like, I love the colors. It, it feels good. It's like my eyeballs getting bathed in uh, a rainbow of awesomeness. Okay, uh, whoa, 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 what's this? What's going on here? Let's go to decks. Decks are empty, okay. So I don't know if the decks are themed or not. I can't tell what's going on. Like, okay, these are ninjas, these are fire, these are pirates, these are 
knights? These are I don't I don't know what's going on with these different kind of cards. I, I don't know. Like I, I just I just don't know. Anyway, so fuck it, let's just go play. No, quests, get out of here. Quests. Uh async. Uh what's async? Skyland Shore. Dude, tell me I can put my E. Are you serious? Whatever. It's just Skyland, man. Submit. Secure your account! No, I don't feel like doing that right now. Alright, you, if you if you bastards take my name, I will be so mad. Uh, we got some packs. Let's open some packs. Let's see what happens. What, how many cards we get when we open a pack. Woo! We got Flash Grenade. Awesome. We got Escape. We got Tag Team. Cold. Oh, whatever. Winds of North. Okay. Woo! And another booster pack. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Infinite Knowledge. Whoa. The Alchemy. Okay. Fireball. Sabotage. Thief. And dang, that actually looks pretty good. Legionnaire, and he's got Pierce. He's 6'10". That's actually... May I'm potentially pretty good, though. For 8? I don't know. 8 gold, that's kind of intense. Uh, I don't know about that. Anyways, let's finally play... No! Sign in through Steam. Okay. Oh, I guess that was easy enough. Never mind. Okay, so Vikings, Crusaders, Pirates, Warlocks, and Ninjas. Okay, so there's different them I think different themalities. Anyways, we got the Viking starter deck. We're gonna go to random and random opponent. Oh, let's hit battle. Enter the queue. Let's find out how long it takes. Okay, the game did just come out and steal. Oh shit. Okay, well fuck yeah. Okay, click to replace. No, no, we don't need no seven. Uh yes, this is good. And I guess that's fine. We don't have a replace button like duelist, so RNG is still gonna be pretty intense, but uh Whatever. Gain one gold for this turn only. Okay, so that reminds me of the what the coin in Hearthstone. So I can summon a two right now, or I can wait. Now nah, let's uh, we can summon a two, or we can let's do it. Let's do it now. I'll summon the two and let's throw them up here and let's end the turn. Now what do you got, Blue? What do you got, Ajax eighty four? You know who I am? I'm Skylant Shore. You sure about this? Cause I'm sure. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, guys. Lighten up! We're having fun here. Let's see. I can do Peasant Militia and then Burst of Strength, but that's only for this turn. Uh, still, that could do some pretty big damage to him. And let's summon the Peasant Militia. Get him out of here. You're gonna regret not laying down a card, Ajax, but I'm assuming he's got a lot of big cards. Actually, He's, uh, he's got, what is this, these are the Crusaders, so maybe I should be worried, I just got the Viking. Hey, I just got the Viking deck that's mostly farmers, man, I got peasants. I think peasants are basically the neutrals of this game, like, they can be shared throughout all the different things. Okay, he didn't do anything this turn either, so I don't know what's going on with that, but we're gonna summon the Cultist. Alright, let's move this Brit over here, I'm gonna move him up here. Ah, I should've, I should've moved him first. What the hell is going on with this guy? Why is he all like wizard wizardy? I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, I basically wasted that turn. I, I should have moved him first and then Oh, I could have un I could have hit undo. I could have done that. I don't know why you guys don't tell me these things. Probably because this isn't live. Man, wouldn't that be cool if if this was live? If only there was some sort of technology to sort sort of like I don't know stream the content to you guys. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, what's this guy do? Uh, your units are healed for one each time this unit attacks. Oh, man, dude, Paladin is serious. Okay. Okay, Mr. Paladin. How about you taste my... that guy? All right, I'm gonna move this guy up here, and I'm gonna move this guy over here, and then we're gonna do some damage. Uh, move him up. This guy can heal, right? Like, that's what he did? Like, I'm gonna keep him there. I'm gonna keep him there. I might move him to the side a little bit, but uh, I think I might keep him, like, right around here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, he's, oh man, dude, two paladins would be OP because they, yeah, oh fuck, dude, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good deck. I don't, I don't know, that's a good, that's a good duo. That's okay, okay. I got a headless horseman which has pierce and charge, which is pretty good. I think charge is is, a, is superior for defensive play, so maybe I'll hold off on him and I'll summon one soulless lantern and I'll summon one guardian. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think that's probably where I want to go. It's probably what I want to do. Let's move these guys up a little bit first. And I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep this guy right here. But uh, we're going to do some damage. Alright, so the game seems to be pretty basic. I mean, if you've played other games in this genre, you're going to get the hang of it. Uh, so if you've played Hearthstone, if you played Duelist, probably more specifically, you're going to get the hang of this. Yeah, okay. So games that I've been playing lately would be Duelists, Zam... 
Uh, I played a little bit of Scrolls, but it got canceled. It got canned. And this game, these are these are the three uh, tactical card games that are pretty big right now. So go check those out. They're all free to play. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and uh, RuneScape Chronicles. Though that's not. I don't know how to classify that. It's really more of a digital tabletop. Anyways, this dude has a lot of healing. Gives an ally health permanently. So it seems like he's just gonna have this big ass wall. Oh my god, dude, that's so strong, dude. Fuck that noise. Ah, oh, damn it. I was gonna kill him there. He's really he's really smart. He's really smart about this. Uh, so it looks like it looks like I'm gonna sacrifice somebody here. I'm probably gonna sacrifice this guy to kill this guy. I I don't know, man. Th that was just too strong. There's just too much too much shit going on. All right, well, we got six, so we're going to summon a, a swordsman here, and we're going to move him right on up. End the turn. We're probably... We're going to save the Headless Horseman, though, for when, like, he starts attacking me. I kind of just wanted to put pressure on him, so I think the Headless Horseman could be pretty sure. He only does three damage, though. What the fuck is this? Pillar of Annoyance. Place this building in the enemy base where it will annoy your opponent. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. What? Well, it at least he gets to draw a card, and I'm assuming that makes it to where I can't uh, move people there, unless I kill it. So I might have to. I'm gonna have to kill it. It's got five health though, but it's pretty freaking intense. I love the solar. I like the soulless lantern card. I want a stuffed soulless lantern, or if I could actually get like one of those. Uh, what are what are the like fun, Funko, pop figurines? You get those in Loot Crate. I'd like one of those with this guy. That'd be pretty awesome. Like a little bobblehead. Peasant militia. Come on, guys. All right. So I think I think we're, we've got the gist of the game so far. I think we we have. I do believe. But we are out of time. Just pretend I won this game. But I think we got the gist of it. What do you guys think? Good first impressions. It was a live playthrough. Well, we are out of time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sky. I'm gonna just pretend I won this game. I'm Skylant with Free MMO Station. This is my first impression of Cards and Castles. It's a tactical co collecting card game. It's got all of the cliche things of the genre. You know, it's you got uh, theme decks and, you know, the card mana system and the damage and the health. Yeah, it's, it's basically if you've played a card game, you should fall in love with this game, I think, uh, simply because of its charm. Yeah, it's simple, but simply it's also pretty good, I think. Uh, remember, this is also designed as a mobile game, so... Feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good. Not about this game, this, this particular match. I'm not feeling too good about it, but the whole, the game as general is uh, pretty fun. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again next time.